food and wine, food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. Good evening, vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. And it is seven o'clock, and look at this line to get into Epcot, because it is food and wine season! I cannot believe it. Woo! Look, I'm picking when I really get to clicking, but I'm looking for a sister to the bottom when I kiss her. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Cheers, Cheers the, the beginning of food and wine. Food and wine, food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. It's, we're in this, oh, this is a new path. Wow, oh yeah. Oh, and it's wider. Look oh, at there's it. a bunny. Oh wait, there is a bunny. That's way cooler. And a single flower. Single flower left over from the flower and garden. But look at this is the new path. Look how wide it is. Wow. It smells like food and wine. Here's the official table of food and wine. <laughs> I'm so excited for food and wine. For our first booth, we got one impossible cottage pie and one impossible burger. The impossible burger slider with wasabi cream and spicy Asian slaw on a sesame seed bun. The impossible cottage pie, impossible ground meat with carrots, mushrooms, and peas, topped with mashed cauliflower, white beans, and mozzarella. Okay, take your first bite. First bite with our fancy new. Mm -hmm. It was weird to it was weird to not have to worry about utensils or napkins because I brought a handkerchief too. Going all kinds of good for the environment. Ooh, it smells delicious. It's so good. Yeah? Does it make up for you not being able to have the fisherman's pie in the Ireland Absolutely dish? Absolutely not. No? That's my favorite item ever. <laughs> okay, so this was here last year. It was. But I think it did have the wasabi cream on it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it did, so it's yeah. gonna be the exact same. Delicious. Yes. Disclaimer for the next two months, we occasionally get a comment that says you should really not vlog while you eat. <laughs> and I love those comments because I love vlogging while I eat and especially the next two months. Get ready to see these chops chopping. Yeah. I love good slaw. One. The burger is just like so good and flavorful. It's nice. They cooked it really well. They cook it really well because sometimes impossible meat really does look bloody because it has beets in it. Um, so yeah, it's really yummy. Oh, well, it's sure because I want to try it. All right, so out of these, the cottage pie is the winner. This is still delicious. We said, I think I think it's good. I think Sarah liked it a lot more than I did. But I have a hard time for some reason not comparing that, like impossible meat, to the impossible meatball from Flower and Garden. And that was like a that delicacy. Was, like, packaged really well though, like the sauce and everything along with it. This is just like burger. Yeah. But I definitely think the cottage pie, because I'm a sucker for, a, for a, any kind of like Shepherdman's pie, Fisherman's pie, cottage pie, any kind of pie, meat savory pie, I'm a sucker for. You doing all right, sir? <laughs> oh. I also cannot get over this wide path. I had no idea they were doing this. I thought the walls were up just to like prepare this area for food and wine. I didn't realize they were adding this massive expansion. This, this is gonna be great. Earhart's, wait till we're dancing through this in the, at, the end of the, at the end of the night. What I really like about that booth is that both of the options tasted very differently. Like even though it was like both impossible meats, would you agree? Yes. What? This is wider too. Are you sure? Yes, 100%. There's no grass between us and the booths. Right, yeah, that's what they cut out. But yeah, it's nice that like they have like two very distinct tastes. Different, but we can yeah. eat both. Rather than just like mushing it together, we're like, oh, it's vegan, right. oh, it's vegan. Yeah, no, they were very like different. seasoned and plated and everything different. Yeah, so like this. But it doesn't look new. No, it doesn't. I mean, like, if you look carefully, they just right. really did a good job. Of it. I didn't even realize that that's what they were doing. I thought they were just getting ready for the festival. Yeah, and then there's these buildings. What are you? Dance it, dance it, dance it up. Look at that cute pie, Minnie Mouse. I think they're back to normal size. Yeah. And then there's why. a Remy one that'll be later? In like a month and a half, I think. Awesome. And then if we come four times, we get a coaster set. And we are getting it, because I love our little cutting board that we got last yeah. year. Use it almost every day. We've been blessed with food and wine, and because of it, we've been blessed with a gorgeous, gorgeous 
Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Epcot this evening. It's like unreal. Can you hear Plain White Tees playing? We're not I going. Just hit my elbow. <laughs> oh. We're not going to the show because it just started, but Plain White Tees is playing all weekend over there at the America Rock Garden Theater Rocks yes. USA Express. We're stopping in Africa. There's a long line, but we don't even care. We're rocking out the Plain White Tees. Thank you. So we got the spicy Kenyan vegan githri with white beans, pigeon peas, curry rice pilaf, and kachamari slaw. Okay, Sarah's gonna have the first bite. We got our fork ready. This is hefty. It's a 450 item mm -hmm. on like the average, like average price, but it's the, one of the heavier dishes I've ever had at Food and Wine. Yeah, look at this. And the beans. Beans, I love rice, curry and African some food. Curry, some veggies. Get some soft, I'm glad we went. Th we went. We chose this over India. India today. Really good. Is it spicy? Yeah, it is spicy. My favorite festival item before was the beef with half and jalapenos, and they don't have it this year. But it's kind of nice that something that we can eat took its place. All right, I will say, regardless of you wanting to get the fork set and a handkerchief for like environmental reasons or whatever, I'll let you know we've been doing festivals for years now, food and wine for almost a decade. Well, this is like the eighth year, ninth year of us yeah, since we we've first experienced. We started and then like we've done almost every we've done every festival since we lived here, but we even came down on vacation for festivals. It is such a weight, and not not everybody's like me, but I. It's, I used to have such anxiety about like making sure I knew where like the utensils were at every booth because they're all different. I'm getting napkins and did I get enough napkins? The fork is super awesome, super easy. Got a it handkerchief. It's more just like flat, so there's not as much like shoveling to it. <laughs> if, if, sho if shoveling is important to you when you're eating. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it is big, so like the surface area is good. I dig it. Yeah. And it's not as like strange the texture of the bamboo as I thought it might be. Um, and we're still eating this. This is this is a hefty portion. I told Sarah I think it's a top five item of any festival so far. Yeah. I'd probably have to sit down and think of like what my actual top five would be, but good. It is spicy, so if you're sensitive to spice, you're not gonna want to eat that. But it's vegan. It's hefty. It's definitely more more than worth 450, considering festival time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably gonna, we're gonna get that again. Probably at least two or three more times in this festival. Oh, it's still going. We're gonna see the plain white teas. At least for the last couple spicy songs. spicy in my throat. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look how beautiful Space of Earth looks. You guys wanna hear a story? Yeah. Awesome, okay. So. I met this girl named Delilah and I wrote a song for her. <laughs> hey there Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Even more in love with me, you'd fall. So do you guys want to hear the ending to the story? I never got the girl. But I got this song, which is much better, right? Oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. Everybody, come on. We have got one more song. Let's everybody get up and dance in this one. Come on. Wow, for dipping there in the last two and a half songs, that was a pretty good time. It was a perfect little taste. Yeah, I kind of want to come back and see, like they had such good energy and good vibes. Yeah. Kind of want to go see the, a full show from them. They're here for the next three days. I think they're here Friday, Saturday, Sunday as well. Yeah. Because some, some artists are doing 
four days, some artists are doing three days throughout the season. There's so many performers. Guys, the thing I love about food and wine, we're not gonna come here every day. We're gonna come here a lot. And Especially it's super busy. We need to see illumination. And all that, yes. But to me, food and wine is like a state of being. It's a state of mind for the park that I love. I love when it's super busy. I love the days where you cherish when it's not busy. I love the hecticness, the heat, the tired, the full bellies, the hungry bellies. And it's cool because like, the reason I feel like we love it so much is because the first time we ever experienced it was on our college program. And like the smell is different. We were here on our own. We were like independent. We didn't have a lot of money. So like the like four dollar items were, were like great. Nice. So they were nice. You, you said nice. Nice. <laughs> but I don't know. I love food and wine so much. And Everybody I feel like, loves food and wine. I just feel like I can't have it not be my favorite festival. And I know it's really not the best festival out of all the festivals. But I don't get the state of mind in any other festival like right. this. Right. So like I just feel like that's why it's always my favorite. But we must go to Morocco now. Morocco, go, 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 Morocco, go, go, go. Hey, our last thing of the night. <laughs> We're getting a spicy hummus fries. Higher price point. Eight bucks, but Eight we bucks. don't know the size. So we have the spicy hummus fries with cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, tzatziki, and chipotle sauce. First bite. Word on the street is these are spicy. I'm hoping they're really dense and jam-packed because this is an eight dollar dish. And we don't get the tzatziki because it has dairy. I feel like we had hummus fries there before. Yeah. I think they're cooked way differently. These are like, these ones at least are like mega fried. Yeah, lots of breading. It's got a cool flavor. It kind of tastes like falafel. Yeah. Because there's so much breading. Yeah. Don't know if it's worth $8. Um, but I would get it again. I'd get it again. I don't know at that price. Yeah. It's like tasty, but it's just kind of like what you expect. Yeah, like if I got it, if that's eight dollars spent on myself, but I mean, like if we're splitting, I guess it's four and four. We could have gotten two of those other things for the same price as this. Yeah, and I'd probably want to do that. My thing is like maybe the, it's the breading, but I feel like it might be too fried. Like I get too much of a fried flavor to it. I wish it was more of like the artisan hummus I mean, friesness. Yeah, I do like fried things, and I feel like we don't get a lot of fried things eating vegan, so I'll take it. We need it. It's it's still 90 degrees and it's <laughs> almost 9 o'clock at night. There's a nice breeze though. Yeah. Cheers to Food and Wine 2019. How much more of how can you get cheersing Beverly and Morocco water all in the same day? Um, cheersing Thickman. Yikes. <laughs> we got our spot for illuminations. We're crossing Reflections Canada off our list. We're up higher. We're a little nervous the lights aren't going to turn off, but if they don't, it's all right. I am so full. Like, I'm like nearing Ohana full. Like, I'm really, really full. We ate dinner before we came here. I'm Maybe content. it's because I just drank that whole glass of water. I drank a whole glass of water too. I feel fine. <laughs> um, which is good. I have to go on an outdoor run. As you, if you watched yesterday's vlog, the AC is busting in our gym. So it looks like I'm running outside. So. Six miles. Nothing like 90 degree plus after nightfall running six miles. It's gonna be great. Canada will not quit. <laughs> oh, Canada. <laughs>
I've never experienced illuminations with the special <laughs> DJ Canada of Canada remix. remix. <laughs> so so another year, happy. another food line's begun. The next time we see Diet Atzkad, will be after Dopey. I know, that's wild. That's crazy. I do have a quick update about our fertility specialist appointment on Tuesday. I did get the email today saying that it would be pushed back until Wednesday because the hurricane has slowed up some and it's probably going to get here more so on Monday and Tuesday. So I understand it's for safety. That is the update on that. All right, today is the 29th. Only two more days left in August. And the message is by Paulo Cole. If you think adventure is dangerous, try routine. It is lethal. Alright, Sarah's sending some last minute emails and things, but I wanted to explain to you, I'm not running time. And that's okay, but here's why. It's because it's 10.30 and we're going to go to bed, and it's, I've now made running a standard in my life. And I always hear, like, I, re I listen to a lot of motivational videos and stuff like that, and there's always a little, a reoccurring thing where it's like you don't get your shoulds you get your standards you get your musts running has now become a standard it's become a must for me that's why I just I get it done so I need to make the the aspect of waking up early and running my new standard I need I need to get the running done that that commitment is still huge with the dopies and the weekends and wine and dines and the 50k and the being healthy and being fit um, that is all all still going on and I like running, and I need to get up early and run because in our new new neighborhood, I'm gonna be able to run throughout streets and neighborhoods. But that works out better temperature-wise and safety-wise to do that in the morning. Plus, it works out for our schedule more. It just overall works better. I just need to do it. I just need to set the alarms and actually wake up. So, this is a time in our life, I think, Sarah. Don't you agree that we've been sleeping in the most in our entire life? Yeah, we've said this before. You know, what's different this time? When are we going to do something different? It's a new standard. Okay. Now, for our safety, for our enjoyment, for just the betterment of our lives, we need to. I need to get to waking up early. Yeah, the thing is with me, like I, my focus is not to run in the morning, but to be sure that I get my eight hours of sleep for my body, and so that means we have to go to bed. Like if I'm gonna wake up early, we have to go to bed early. Yeah, I just I don't think you have to wake up and stay awake with me. Right. Like you can. Help me wake up. Yeah. And then go back to bed <laughs> after you smack me around and say, go, get up and get out and run. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go to sleep then. Yeah. I think uh, the last thing is I think that I've never been more serious about the running. I think that's the big thing that's different mm -hmm. this time is I'm so serious about the running. I've been so good about staying consistent. And now I'm putting that at jeopardy by not getting up. Yeah. And I'm going to get up. Yes. Okay. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Food and wine. Food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>